Welcome to the Remote Chiefs channel on the YouTube network. I'm the Chief. How you doing today? I hope you're having a good day and everything's going well. I'd like to introduce a product that I saw on Amazon. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of the prop guards for the unique Q500. I'd like to show you how they go on and let you know if I think they're worth buying or not. So come on, let's take a look at these prop guards for the unique Q500. So first thing, they came just basically thrown in a plastic bag, a little bubble wrap around them and in a cardboard box. There was really nothing to them. They're really, you know, lightweight plastic, pretty cheap molding. You could crack them pretty easily, break them if you wanted. It also came with a string that you could tie around. I think that's actually could get you more tangled up. Maybe without the string, you could get out of an object, but the string, you might get pulled in. So I don't think the string's a good idea, number one. So here we go. They go onto the drone like so. You have three notches here, one, two, and three, and you align them with the one, two, and three notches that come on the outside of the shell around the motor. So this is how they would look. It seems like some fit better than others. So wow, I mean, there you have it. There's the prop guards. That's what they look like. They make the drone look ginormous. Like, they're coming in with some serious drone power. I mean, they extend the size of the drone, make it look pretty ultimate. A pretty big deal here, these prop guards. Now, what if something hits this area though here? You know, like right here, the prop comes out. I don't see any protection for that. So to me, it's a little, uh, normally you want the span of the propeller angle, but we're kind of missing this angle. Like the propeller is going to be spinning here too. I mean, they're, so to me, they're not made that well. They're cheap plastic. And what worries me is that they're not on all the way. Look, that just came off so easily. Like these should be tight, 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 tight. Like so tight that they basically can't come off. And I'm worried in flight that these actually might dislodge, get into your propeller, and then take your drone, your camera, and everything down to the ground. I don't know about these. I like the look of them. I like how big they make the drone look. It's cool, and it can't hurt, you know, if the drone was coming near you and you could just tap that. I mean, it does a good job right here. It definitely does span the length of the propeller. About six and a half inches. These are 13 inch propellers with an inch in the middle. It's about six inches on either side. But what about here? This is what I'm talking about. Usually a propeller guard kind of spans out to this area here, but we're not getting that now. So when this spins, I mean, you can still get cut right here or it can still hit an object. So they're cool, but I mean, they don't really serve the entire purpose. This is the area we want to cover more we want another piece coming out of here and it's just not there. So they cover the front and they cover the back, but you're still lacking in the side area here. I do like how big they make the drone look. I just, size does matter and that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm coming at you and it adds to the spatial relations when you're looking at it outside and it's just gigantic. I mean, it's huge. Now look at this. If I pull on one of these and I wiggle it around, it seems all right, but look at this one. This one came off easier than this one did. This one just came off. Look, one-handed, just pulling them right off on the side. I don't know about that, guys. These are getting sent back to Amazon. I am not gonna try and put these on and fly. They come off too easily for my liking. Maybe they work. I did see some reviews, people saying they're awesome. For me, Murphy's Law. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen to me. And I can't, risk it. I just can't. I'm not going to put a stupid like $20 product on my thousand dollar drone and ruin my drone. And look, you were trying to be safe in the first place. I keep thinking I'm just not putting them on right. And there's like a way to put them on. So I keep second guessing myself because I really like them and I want them to work, but I have to be honest with myself. I just don't think they're where they need to be yet. See, there it is. You need to see the rim on the top. The rim on the top and tight. I mean, that's how they're getting on. There's, there's no better way right there. And that, man, yeah, it comes right off. If it comes off even a little bit, if it vibrates up a little bit, boom. You're hitting your propellers. These are a no-go, folks. Prognosis. These I will never put on my Q500. 
They worry me too much. I'm gonna have to give a thumbs down to this product, and I'm sorry for the maker of it, but it's just not made well enough. The connection has to be far more solid for me to trust these, and I feel like in the wind and with vibration, they could pop up and hit my propellers and ruin my drone. I don't wanna buy something really cheap on Amazon that ruins something really expensive. So these are a no-go. I'm gonna have to toss these. They are out the window. They're not happening. They're being sent back to Amazon for a full refund. That being said, I just wanted to cover the propeller guards for the Unique Q500. I had questions about them and I don't want one of you guys to order it and then crash your drone. So I'm warning everybody, I've got them, I looked into them, and I do not think they're worth it. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget, the chief loves to fly.